Signal to Manor Transfer Unit. To return subject to original form and location. I've been coming every year since 82 and I like coming so I can show my stuff also. People can physically see it than just online. It's sad that it's not going to be here anymore because you got all this talent out here and to show it off. Without a convention like this, you know, yeah. where, where do you go? We first started at Starfest in 2011. It was the first convention I ever did. And it's been honestly the best time of our lives. I mean, I could go on and on about all the crazy things that have happened over the years. Mark Shepard was one of our first clients ever. We have gotten to meet LeVar Burton. So many cool people, not just celebrities, but we met so many friends here. My first time here, and sadly, it might be my last, right? It's not gonna be here anymore, but I'm very happy to be here, and this has been really fun. And uh, our film is about conventions, it's about cosplay, so it's like super exciting that we were able to share it with everybody, because that's our audience. I've been going to Starfest for like 10 years, and over the last few years, I started coming as a guest artist. I'm just glad to be back. They were super generous and made me a special guest, and it was just incredible to get that offer. I heard that this is the last Starfest, so I'm kind of bummed about it, because it's been a really good time so far. It's part of my life. It's sad that it's not going to happen anymore, but we'll celebrate it and it'll be great. I'm Mariah Hummer, and I self-publish a comic book called Flat Track Furies. It's about a team of roller derby ladies who like fight crime and monsters in their weird town, and they learn about friendship, and it's just a really fun, silly comic that I make in my basement. I'm always just excited to see new artists. There's some people that I already know, and it's great to see them after we've been trapped at home for two years. Just seeing artwork that I haven't seen before and how people treat the medium. I've always loved drawing. So I always doodled in high school instead of paying attention. I just loved looking at things that I thought were cool and beautiful. And then in college, I switched my major from opera to art and decided to just like go for it. I am a Denver local puppet builder, costume designer. I do a little bit of everything. About six years ago, the Jim Henson Company had an official Dark Crystal fan film competition. And I had just these wild big ideas for what I wanted to do. And I thought, there's no way I'm gonna get this done in time. And at that point, I had a big Chamberlain Skeksis cosplay. It was getting a lot of attention online. And I decided, okay, at the last minute, I grabbed some friends together. We decided to submit a fan film. And that's when I made this guy, Tristan. So he's featured in the fan film and there was about 29 30 submissions to this contest and we ended up winning the grand prize and so at that point i was on the jim henson company's radar and they asked me to come out about a year and a half later to work on the netflix dark crystal series it was incredible i was there for about five months i worked in the costume department i did mostly skexy's costumes, Chamberlain's costume, I did a lot of his stuff, some podling stuff. I'd have to pinch myself every morning when I'd wake up to go to work because it was just, it was so much fun. Uh, Nate Latier, director of Monster Force Zero. We're here at Starfest screening our film and uh, it's been pretty fun, good turnout. But I'm very happy to be here. We have our cast here. There might be a Yeti running around somewhere. Monster Force Zero is about a group of cosplayers who cosplay at a convention, they're selling their comic books, they're not having any really good luck, and they get challenged to a cosplay competition, not knowing that at that competition, that they are battling for the ability to unlock their cosplay character's ability. So they do that, and then they use their abilities to fight evil ancient aliens. You can watch it on Amazon, you can watch it on Tubi, Vudu, iTunes, and Google Play. I'm so happy that the conventions are open again. There's a lot of really cool guests. I'm a Brent Spinner fan, so I might have to go say hi if I can. 
And uh, our film is about conventions, it's about cosplay. So it's like super exciting that we were able to share it with everybody. Because that's our audience, is the cosplayers. So glad to be here. My name is uh, Steve Caracato and I'm the CEO and producer of Spacecraft Creation Models, LLC. And I mass produce all these kits. They're resin, some are holocast. I do commission builds for anybody that wants anything done. Like uh, these particular models right here are plastic models that I've converted to lights and sound. And then this is one of my resin kits that I produce. This is another resin kit. All those kits over there are all resin kits. And what I do is I try to make models that nobody else has. It's a lot of fun, like this one's the Dark Star from the movie Dark Star, the Botany Bay, and then the K7 over there, and all the different uh, Frank Joseph's uh, Star Trek models from the 1970s. I started when I was like 17, and when Star Wars came out, I started researching it and uh, wanted to know about how to make studio scale models, and then I met up with a caster that could cast my models. So I've been selling these kits since 2004 and doing commission builds, so it's been a pretty good uh, little business slash hobby. I'm Susie with Susie Q's. I handmade chainmail jewelry, and we are at Starfest 2022 which unfortunately is going to be the last one, but it's going to be a fun weekend. We're going to get to see old friends and meet new friends and hang out and it'll be great. I make bracelets and necklaces. I also have some earrings and barrettes and they're all handmade chain mail. It's anodized aluminum, so it's nickel free and easier on our friends with metal allergies. But I also work in other mediums. I can do steel, niobium, titanium. I'm looking forward to being back. We haven't had Starfest in two years because of the pandemic, and so there's some people that we only see here, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm really looking forward to meeting Michelle Hurd because I loved her in the Defenders series on Netflix, and I think she's really good as Rafi on Picard. It's really an honor to be the final guest at the final Starfest. I can't believe this is the final one, but... Uh, it's always been really one of the great, great conventions. Everybody is so kind and, and enthusiastic and uh, it's just been fantastic. Thank you. Woo!